Hey guys, it's Kayla and it's 2020. And I don't know about you, but I made a New Year's resolution that I'm gonna save more money this year. And how I'm gonna do that is by doing my own beauty treatments at home. And so today on Blusher Gives It A Glow, I'm gonna try doing dip powder nails. Now I got this little kit on Amazon. We're gonna test it out. We're gonna see if it's easy to do. I am not a professional. I'm just, you know, someone that gets her nails done. I watch YouTube videos myself, and we're gonna see if I can pull this off today. So let's just get on into it. Okay, first things first, you're gonna wanna make sure that you scrape back your cuticle. This is really important so that your dip powder will have a clean surface to stick to and there won't be any lifting. And if you wanna go a step further, I got a drill to really clean up the cuticle edge. Now go ahead and rough up the surface of the nail with a buffer, again, so that we can make sure the dip powder will stick. Get a little bit of alcohol on a lint-free wipe and dehydrate the surface of the nail to make sure there's no oils left over. Now because my manicure is going to be a clear look and my nails are short, I'm gonna be using clear tips. Go ahead and measure the tips for each finger and then apply nail glue to the well. Apply it to the finger by pressing down firmly and holding for a few seconds. I don't like my nails super long, so I'm gonna cut mine somewhat short. Now I'm gonna file mine to be a little bit more rounded. And then rough up the surface because the plastic is too shiny for the powder to stick to. Then just take the little brush that came in the kit and brush away all of the filing dust. Now this is the dip powder in clear. It didn't come with the label, so I had to do a little bit of a test to make sure it was clear and not white. But now that we got that figured out, I'm ready to move on to step one. This is the base, and this is what is going to make the dip powder stick to your nail. So get a little bit and make sure it's nice and thin, and you're gonna wanna just do a little line across where you placed your tip to sort of secure it together. Go ahead and shake it off and do this to all of your nails. Dip at a 45 degree angle and then just tap off the excess. Then go back in with your brush and make sure there's no dust left over before you do the second coat. Now I'm only going 3 fourths of the way up leaving a little bit of space before the cuticle, and then just dipping it again into the powder. Do this with all of your nails and just make sure to keep these layers nice and thin. Now you wanna do another layer that goes all the way to the cuticle. Just be careful again to make this nice and thin. And dust away all of the extra powder. Now we're ready to decorate our nails. So I'm just making a few dots with the step one base. I'm using little stars, I thought they were super cute. And applying them in an organic random pattern on the nail. Then go back in with the base and do a thin layer over the top to sort of seal them all in. And go ahead and dip into the powder and your glitter will be encapsulated. Now we're ready for step two, the activator. The activator is what sets the powder and hardens them. 
It takes about a few minutes for this to soak in and really get to all the layers. So make sure you don't file until it's absolutely done. You'll know it's done by the plastic sound it makes when you tap them. Once you're done, you can file them into the shape that you want. And here's where you can fix everything if you made any mistakes with too many layers. Just keep filing. Then go back over with a buffer and just make sure everything is nice and smooth. Dust away any of the filing dust and you're ready for your gel top coat. Super easy, it doesn't require any curing lamps. You just paint it on and immediately you can see how much better this manicure is looking with a shiny top coat. Once it's dry, you can go ahead and apply a little bit of cuticle oil. Rub it in and voila! Okay, so I'm done. I went ahead and did the other hand off camera and I do have to say it was a whole lot easier the second time around after learning from my own mistakes. Here are a couple of things I learned during the process. Number one, make sure that if you're gonna apply tips, you get tips with a shorter well. That caused a huge problem for me when I was trying to put the powder over that line of demarcation. Number two, you're gonna wanna use a lot less of the base. For this hand, I went a little bit too crazy on step one. The base was a little too thick, and that's why this hand got really bulky. Lastly, spend more time filing it. If you want it to be nice and smooth, spend more time on your filing, and that's it. I think that I will probably try this again. Maybe next time I won't try something so difficult as encapsulating glitter, but it was fun. And if you do try this at home, I'd love to hear your tips and tricks. Please comment below. All right, see you next time.